Welcome to the Pyramid Insider. I'm Tyler Patner. Today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new product for filling your PCPs from Air Venturi, the Power Booster. Now the Power Booster is pretty unique. Uh, this is a very interesting new product from Air Venturi for two reasons. One, because they just came out with a compressor, so wasn't really sure where this was going to fall, but after using it, I think you guys will be pretty impressed. Uh, this is a booster, as the name suggests, not a compressor. So a standalone compressor is just that, a standalone unit. You plug it into the wall, it is capable of generating up to 4,500 PSI, and we know that the Air Venturi one operates very quickly. You guys have seen it in use in our PCP 101 videos. Now, the booster though, this is a very intriguing product, does not require electricity. Most of the other boosters on the market do require electricity, so that's a very nice feature here that you don't need. All this requires is first stage input. So what I mean by that is a shop compressor that's capable of generating 60 to 90 PSI and hopefully a flow rate of, of 5 SCFM or more. So this unit is gonna be perfect if you already have a shop compressor but maybe can't afford to get up into that price point of a standalone compressor. And that's really where this falls in. Obviously Obviously it's going to operate a little bit slower than a standalone compressor unit but still a very manageable piece of equipment that is very simple to operate. So let's check out what all comes in this package. So going over the parts of the booster, you obviously have your on off switch, your output adjustment screw as well as your air pressure gauge on the top of the unit and just so you guys know the gauge does read in PSI and bar which is a very helpful thing. Looking at the front of the unit you guys will notice there's a lot going on here. Uh, first thing you want to point out is in between that oil feed there and the moisture filter on the input is your oil plug screw and we'll show you what that is needed for here in just a second but very important to note that so you're not trying to like twist off the bottles or anything. Uh, we do have a male intake connector just like you'd find you know on any of your air tools that you're trying to plug into your shop compressor at home and then you have an input gauge as well which is going to tell you how much pressure uh, is coming into the booster and then when it's operating it will also tell you how much pressure is being used per stroke which is also a nice little interesting feature. You'll also notice on the front of the unit we have our fill hose as well as a female quick disconnect fitting and in that female quick disconnect fitting you're going to get a test plug as well and the reason there's a test plug there is so you can calibrate the unit for other PSIs outside of that normal kind of 3000 PSI range you might be filling a gun to and of course as well you're going to have your bleed valve and on the sides and as well on the top, you do have a couple handles. So if you want to carry it on the sides or on the top, unit's about 23 pounds in total. So you do have a few different options for transporting it. First thing we're going to do is take a flathead screwdriver and go ahead and loosen up that oil plug screw. Now the booster comes with a little bottle for oil. Uh, you're going to want to get that full compressor oil is what we're recommending here. Just going to go ahead and fill that up halfway or more. Uh, obviously you just don't want it to overflow you really can't fill it too much as long as you keep it in there and then just go ahead and tighten that screw back down turning clockwise until it's nice and tight. Alright so looking at our output adjustment uh, the allen key is going to come with the booster unit and you'll notice that your booster is going to come preset at 3000 psi give or take 10 percent at the factory. Now you will also notice that they the markings on the outside, the 2000, 3000, and 4000 marking are approximations. So that is good to know. And also the nice feature that this has, it's going to dead end at 4500. So not only is it going to come preset at very close to 3000, but it's going to dead end at that 4500 mark. So again, approximations on the outside. What you're going to want to do is once you get that setting found for whatever pressure you're trying to fill to, whether it be 3000, 2000, 4500, go ahead and make a little mark on that outside gray ring there so that you always have that quick reference point to go back to to adjust your output. So the first thing we're going to do, just make sure that the on off switch is pulled up into the off position before we go ahead and put pressure in. Next, you're going to attach the hose from your air compressor to the male input fitting on the booster. And you see that gauge actually come to life there. Um, once we have air pressure flowing in, we got about 75 or 80 PSI coming in. Again, anything between 60 and 90 is going to be more than enough. And then you're going to want to make sure your bleed valve's closed, just hand tight, it's all you need. Then we're going to go ahead, pull back the collar on the quick disconnect fitting on the end of the hose, make sure it's nice and tight on the end of the gun, and that the collar is forward. You notice that we're starting at about 170 bar on this fill and it's a 500 cc tank and you see how quickly the air pressure in the hose builds to match the pressure in the gun and obviously sped up quite a bit here but 
Uh, it's going to come in just under four minutes and we'll see that on off switch pop up when it's ready. Then we're going to go ahead and bleed the pressure in the line and then simply disconnect your hose by pulling the collar back on the quick disconnect fitting on the end of the hose. All right, so you guys have seen it. This filled the Sumatra with no problem from about 170 bar all the way up to 200 or so. Uh, pretty quickly, about four minutes, you know, topping off guns, this guy's gonna be perfect. It can also do your small bottles, big bottles. It has that capability as well. Obviously, it's gonna take quite a bit longer the larger cylinder size you go to. But overall, pretty stout unit, functions well. As long as you have a compressor at home that's capable of that 60 to 90 PSI, and 5S CFM, you are gonna be good to go, and this unit is gonna make your life a heck of a lot easier. So check it out on pyramidair.com. For the Insider, I'm Tyler Patner. We'll see you guys at the next one.